first, um, in, uh, not my intellectual experience, but this is my first. <laughs> <laughs> on camera, yes, yes. I'm ca very good. He's a funny. Yeah. Um, no, this is uh, my first um, go ahead at the sci fi. Oh, cool. Yes, yes. So uh, I guess we'll use me as a guide to tell our audience what it is. I know this is the second year. Yeah. Uh, intellectuals here pre me uh, last year, but yeah. if you could go ahead and. Sure. Uh, um, uh, well, we launched SciFest LA last year, mm -hmm. and to our knowledge, we are completely unique in that we are the only science fiction one-act play festival on planet Earth that we're aware of, anyway. Yeah. Uh, and we launched it last year. It was an idea that we had, myself and my producing partners, Lee Costello and Michael Blaha. Lee Costello. Yeah. And uh, it was like a song and a prayer. We decided to give it a whirl. We were astounded. As soon as we started looking for material, all this incredible stuff started showing up. Uh, we went out looking for money with a Kickstarter campaign. We got the money in 40 days. It was incredible. Whoa, nice. We raised $80,000. Oh, wow. Okay. I was just going to ask. Uh, and then the next question was, will the actors that we were looking for come? Because we went out looking for actors who had been on, you know, sort of brand name sci-fi sure, franchises. Sure. You got Star Trek, exactly. And we got people from Star Trek. Trek. Babylon 5. Yeah, absolutely. Heroes. Look yeah. at you. Yeah. You know them all. Yeah, exactly. All those shows. Yeah. So it was pretty incredible. They actually did show up. They wanted to be part of the festival. And we launched it last year in May, and it was a huge success. Yeah. And right away, everyone started saying, well, what are you doing next year? And we all looked at each other, and we're like, next year? And uh, <laughs> yeah. so suddenly, here it is next year, and we're doing it again. And, it's, ah. and, and things have, my gosh, I mean, be careful what you ask for, because it was pretty successful last year, and, and now it's kind of doubled in its scope and size from last Very year. Good. But it's really exciting. So when you did it last year, was it just a one-shot deal? Like, hey, let's do this. Because it's never been done that I know of. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we sort of modeled it after another festival that sure. we knew. Okay. Uh, but we ran it for four weeks, and which is what we're doing again this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a four-week schedule. And then it was it's two rotating evenings, uh, evening A and evening B. And it's the same thing, same format this year. And they're sort of like, the best way to describe it are they're like these mini Twilight Zone yeah. episodes yeah. live it's on like stage. Yeah. 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 So what gave you the idea, just being a Twilight Zone fan? Or? Um, actually, what gave me the idea was I happened to read this Ursula Le Guin story that I had never read before. Okay. I just happened onto it called The Wife Story, and I thought it was mind-blowing. It was such a great story because it's one of those stories where you think you understand what the narrator is telling you sure. until you get to the end of the story and you realize what the narrator is actually talking about. Mm. And when you do, it just gives you chills because yeah. it's like, oh my God, that's what's happening. And I kept thinking, that's such a beautiful story, and it's not very long. Yeah. And you couldn't really make a movie out of it because you would give away the ending. And I thought, but you know what you could do? You could put somebody on stage oh, yeah. and they could tell that story if it was a compelling enough performer and it would have the same effect. And so that was the beginning of my thinking about the idea. And then mm -hmm. I, I drug my two producing partners in and sold them on this, that we could find these sort of short sci-fi pieces. And we did. Yeah. And during the course of programming, I said to one of my partners, what the hell, let's ask Miss Le Guin. Yeah. So we did, and she gave us the rights to that story, and it was one of the highlights of the festival last year. It was performed by a Tony-winning actress, L. Scott Caldwell, who also oh, played Rose on Lost. Lost. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it was amazing. Yeah, interesting. And then, uh, so as, uh, how much of the work is original? How much is uh, just uh, being adapted? Uh, well, in this case, we, uh, we have... I think last year we had two adaptations and everything else was original. Okay. And I think this year we have two adaptations, one revival, and everything else is original material. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got Last year we got almost 400 scripts. This year we got almost 700. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. Only double. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. All it's right. been a whole new thing. Uh -huh. And I was sitting at my computer uh, a few months ago, minding my own business, when all of a sudden this email popped up and it said, Clive Barker is sending you a story. He's sending you a script. Okay. And and we're doing that yes. script. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to say that must be on your to-do list. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's an adaptation of his story, The Departed, which is a beautiful, beautiful story. It's a beautiful ghost story. Yeah. And, uh, and the other thing that happened that's pretty groundbreaking for us is... I had been pursuing the, the rights to this Neil Gaiman story for a while, and we got it. And so we're doing Neil Gaiman's The Case of Four and Twenty Blackbirds, which is hilarious. Okay. Absolutely hilarious. It's so one of his earliest stories. A highlight probably oh my this year. We'll you say bet. a year from now probably. You bet. You bet. At the third annual. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So one act plays. How long is each play precisely? Uh, well, they vary. Yeah. Some are shorter than others. The majority of them are like 15 minutes long. 15? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 
and again, what's, span. it's for a Los a Angeles, America. it's perfect. For yeah. Los Angeles, it's the perfect size. Yeah. Uh, and again, we were able to sort of get some incredible talent to come yeah, out and be part say, of it this have, year. Uh, you know, working actors involved, so yeah. it's probably tough to schedule them. It's not too much of a commitment, really, right? Yeah, we try to make it easy yeah. for people to do it. And we also do it in May for a reason, because it tends to, television production seems Post to be a little bit season, yeah, yeah, relaxed posts, uh, in May. <clears throat> right. Summer mm -hmm. vacation season. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. All right, excellent, yeah. But anyway, we're super excited, yep. and it starts on May 7th, May 7th okay. 2015. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Sure. Uh, we have actors from, once again, from Star Trek franchises. We have actors from X-Files. We have actors from uh, The Walking Dead, from Supernatural. Walking An Dead. incredible collection of people yeah. who are part of it. We have Walter Koenig, who was the original Chekhov in the original Star Trek series. This is oh. one of our shows. Oh, it's yes. really exciting. Yes, yes. So uh, I, I hope everybody turns up. Yeah. Uh, and again, if you go to... Uh, uh, our website, which is www.scifestla.com, uh, there's a there's a ticket link there. There's uh, a couple of nights where the tickets are extremely cheap. Just browse through, and you'll see what's available. And uh, we're really excited. But I will tell you this: the festival will probably sell out, so Ooh. you might want to get on that fast. Yep. Again, we're talking May seventh is the first performance. May seventh. Well, I'll be there. Hopefully, Great. right? Am I invited? Can I go? Oh yeah, I All guess. Right. Sure. Right. Why not? Okay. okay. Cool. I'll be there then. Great. Yeah. Uh, something else that we're doing this year that it's brand new sure. is we're doing two short story contests, which we didn't do last year, okay. and they're for 1,500 word short stories. One of them, okay. yeah, yeah. Picture how many pages is that? That is about. We're gonna edit this part when I do math on. Okay, camera. good. Uh, what is it about 15, 12 to 15 pages? I don't know how many pages okay. it is, but I can tell you when it's read out loud, it's okay. about eight to ten minutes okay and um and the reason we did that is because the five finalists are going to be read out loud in the and during the awards presentation they'll, they'll be read by oh. sci-fi celebrities okay. and they will award the prize which is called the roswell award no we're we're also doing another version of this it's the exact same deal it's the five five stories uh that's exclusively for la county high school students okay Start them and, while they're young. Yeah, yeah. While and everything that we collect that yeah. night at that award ceremony will be donated to the Winners High School Science Department, which we think is pretty cool. That is awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Only in L.A., right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you're in the right city to do that because you got the time, the talent, the tools. We do. We're really lucky. And you got the, the people wanting to see all this stuff. We're hoping this will continue to grow and it will become a real celebration of L.A.'s heritage sure. as a science fiction hub. Because sure will. Comic Con started somewhere, right? It did start somewhere, and this town in particular, we're the hometown of Ray Bradbury, we're the hometown of Olivia Butler, we're the hometown of Lee Brackett, um, and God knows, I mean, before Hollywood got a hold of science fiction, it was pulp. Yeah. It was a small thing, but Hollywood transformed it into this billion-dollar global enterprise. A monster, so yes. it's a big part of LA's heritage, and we're sort of we're hoping to be, you know, the LA hometown science That's fiction true. festival. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah. uh, I don't even have to tell you good luck because you're already a success. Oh, but, thank you. Uh, We're pretty excited. This is my first time. I'm psyched to be here. Pleasure talking to you. And yes, get your tickets. Right now. Right now. <laughs>